So the theme that we're going to be looking at in this video is called rounded and we're going to try to make our desktop experience as cohesive and modern as possible. Now I'm using the very base of the latest Kubuntu 20.04 and if we take a look at my system you can see that I am using Plasma 5.18.4 in this video so if you're watching this in the future perhaps something has changed and maybe the settings might not be the same so keep that in mind. Now what you want to do speaking of the settings is go to the menu and go to the settings. The first thing we're going to change is the plasma style. We're going to click on get new plasma styles and in the search bar we're going to type rounded. Now this is the theme here all you have to do is click install and make sure you click rounded dash color because this is the theme that's going to follow the color that you choose. So this is going to be easier to go from the light and dark versions. Uh, and then you just have to apply it and right off the bat you can see that you already have a different type of style. Next up, go to application style and window decorations and click on get new window decorations. In the search bar, type rounded again. Now just click on install. And for the first showcase, we're going to be using the light theme. Going back to the application style, click on this pencil icon in transparency, and you can adjust it to your liking. Now for colors, go to get new color schemes and type rounded once again. And we're going to apply the light version. For icons, there are no official icons, but the creator of this uh, theme has created this icon theme. So go ahead and click on this option. So once you have that installed, you can select the option based on the light or dark theme. Now, there's one thing if you haven't noticed is if you have blur enabled, there's one small... Uh, glitch I suppose that might be bothersome to some of you but if you look at the corners you can see that uh, there is um, a visual glitch here and if you disable blur um, then it's going to be removed so if you want to do that then that's the solution but uh, as far as I know as long as you have blur enabled I don't think you can really remove it uh, but for, for the most part it's not very noticeable. Now when it comes to the workspace behavior and desktop effects, speaking of the effects, you could choose to disable blur and as you can see now it's removed. But if you would like blur, what I do and what I used for this video is I removed the noise strength and I made the blur strength to its max. When it comes to the window management, I went to task switcher and I selected the large icons as my option. So now when I have multiple um, tabs and applications open as you can see it's going to appear like that and another setting is i like to include the show desktop icon so this is how it's going to look and lastly what i did was for the startup and shutdown i cannot really showcase this but um, i went to get new login screens and i installed this login right here which looks very nice so that's it for the primary combination of themes. This is the round theme uh, with a bit of a mix of other uh, themes and settings to make it look better. And like I said, the only thing that is unappealing is this uh, visual glitch at the edges. But apart from that, it looks totally great. And if we go back to the system settings and check out the dark version, uh, we just apply the color scheme. We go to application style window decorations and we apply the dark version of this as well and now we have the dark version of the theme so this is how both of them look and if we want to take a look at uh, the way the widgets look uh, we can take a look at the analog clock or for example we can go ahead and go to notes and as you can see everything is quite rounded so this is the installation and application of the themes themselves. And as you can see, it definitely enhances the default KDE Plasma experience. But if you want to get your system to look similar to how it did in the beginning of the video, then what you have to do is you'll need the Latte Dock. 
Now, the version that I used that showcased uh, some of the features that don't exist yet uh, are from the latest version of Latte Doc. And keep in mind that this is the beta version and I will not go in full detail on how to uh, install it. But I do recommend that if you were to test that out, that you were to test it out on a virtual machine or a live CD key or something like that so that you don't mess up your system or installation. Uh, so I'm going to be showing uh, how to apply those changes using the beta version of the Latte Doc and how to apply it using the one that's already currently available. So I will provide the website in the description. And as you can see, it has some instructions here on how to install it. Uh, what you have to do is you have to have um, git installed. So do sudo apt install git. And now once that's done, you're going to want to click on clone here and it's going to give you a link that you can copy. And when you go back to your terminal, you can type in git clone and then paste the link and then let that run. I already have done this, so I don't need to do that. But once you've done that, it's going to create a new folder in your home folder called latte-doc. And when you click on that, you can scroll down and click on uh, readme. And when you click on the readme file, you're going to have a set of instructions. Now, again, in this video, I'm using Ubuntu 20.04, so um, I can follow the instructions. Now, the repositories, this section, you can ignore that because that offers the stable version, the uh, older versions of this release. Uh, what you want to do is click on installation instructions, and then it gives you all these instructions. And the reason why I don't want to fully showcase this, and if you want me to make a video about it separately, I can, uh, to give you a step-by-step -step, step guide on how to get this working on Kubuntu. Um, the reason why I don't want to do it is because it's beta software, and again, it might cause problems. So if you want to risk it and uh, you don't mind trying it out, then you can go ahead uh, and do that. But once you have this version, the according version of latte doc installed you can launch it up and then it's going to appear with a doc now it doesn't look exactly like this by default what you can do is right click uh, somewhere on the doc and click edit doc and the way that you can make your panels and doc floating is you go to well you have to enable the uh, advanced tab you go to appearance and then you scroll down where you see screen and you can adjust this to your liking and the greater the number is the further away it's going to be from the edge so for this video i set it to 10 pixels um, for the mar margins i set the margins to about 10 uh, and let's see what else did i do the size is 64 which i believe is the default value uh, for the color i decided to do smart so that it uh, changes accordingly to the wallpaper that you've uh, decided to use. For the background, I made it 60% uh, in size and 70% uh, in opacity. Of course, you can change these values. But an important thing to do is you can scroll down here in the behavior tab and you can select always use or hide. Oh, this is the dock, my bad. Um, so you can keep this option enabled and then you could choose to disable or enable any effects like the hover effects and whatnot. So this is for the uh, dock with applications. And if you want to add an application, uh, you can go ahead and click on an application and drag it onto the dock. It's as easy as that. Now, because uh, we want to have the uh, main panel floating as well, what we can do is right click on the main panel and then click on remove panel. We won't be needing any of the default panels for this. Instead, we'll right click on edit doc again, and then click new doc. Now for this new doc, we're going to right click on that and click edit doc, and we're gonna enable the advanced option. Now for the first set of uh, settings here, what we're going to do is we'll click on top, or not here, uh, top for the screen so that it's at the top. Uh, we'll select the option from uh, dock to panel and we'll keep it always visible. Now for the option, you want to enable um, 
if we enable floating, which if we go to appearance and we make it float, what you can do is if you go back to behavior, you're going to want to enable hide screen gap for maximize windows. Uh, this makes it a lot more efficient when you're using uh, an application in full screen. For opacity, I made mine to 70% to match the dock. And I put smart for colors as well. If you want to remove a widget, you could right click on it and click remove whatever widget you want. Uh, when it comes to the size, I put it at around 26 or 28. And again, this is of course personal preference. Now, what you want to do is you want to add widgets. And uh, what you're going to want to add is the system tray. So you can add the system tray. You can also add a spacer. Um, let's see how, let's see what it was like. Uh, well, before that, we can add the digital clock. And we can add the global menu as well. And we can add the simple menu right here as well. And in order to line it up properly, you click on rearrange and configure your widgets and you drag this justify splitter, both of these into this area right here. And now when you launch an application, as you can see, it's all properly spaced up. Um, another thing that I do that I did for the setup is uh, the length instead of putting it at 100% I put it at about 98 or 96 um, and what this does is because this theme uh, is rounded you can see the corners a lot better this way so that's how you can set it up to look as it did in the beginning of the video and as you can see when I uh, put an application in full screen mode it adjusts accordingly which is a very good feature and if I were to set a darker wallpaper, then the colors adjust accordingly. Now, if you couldn't manage to figure out how to install the latest version of the Latte Dock, or you don't want to deal with beta software and just want to wait for the official release, what you can do is you can open up a terminal window and type the following command, and you can install the latest version of the Latte Dock. So once that's installed, you can open up the menu and enable it. And if you want to have a similar setup as what I did uh, in the beginning of the video, you can right click on your default panel and click on edit panel and drag the panel to the top, adjust the height accordingly. And what you can do is remove the task manager. And what I did was I added the global menu. So you can click on add widgets and go to global menu and adjust that. And it's going to require a spacer now. So you can right click on it again, edit panel and click add spacer. And then you can adjust this accordingly. So now you have the top panel just how it is, except it's not floating. And now to kind of sort the dock, what you can do is click on the advanced tab and go to appearance. And of course you can adjust this to your liking. You can even disable the animations. But what I did was I set the opacity to 70% and you can also adjust the height. And of course you could just add an application drag it to the dock and then it would appear on the dock. And so this way you have a very similar experience, except um, the main difference is that uh, when you, now for some reason I have a glitch here, I'm not quite sure why, but when you maximize it, it's just not going to be exactly the same, but it's still nice. So that was basically it for the video. Hope you liked it if you did. Make sure to like, comment, uh, and if you have any suggestions, also comment that as well. And yeah, subscribe. And that was basically it. Thanks for watching.